Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mike here at Game for Scratch. Today, we are looking at GB Studio, which was just released. Now, this is the definition of niche game engines because this one is for creating 2D JRPG style top down games for the Game Boy. Yes, the original OG Game Boy, this can actually generate ROMs for it. Because we're going to be running emulators, and on top of that, you can also create web versions. So even if you're not running a Game Boy, but you want to work in that kind of an environment, you can create web games using this system. Uh, so it is completely free. First, we're going to head on over to the website available at gbstudio.dev. Uh, here you can see uh, GB Studio, a free, easy-to-use retro adventure game creator for your favorite handheld video game system. Although technically for me, that was the PSP. Uh, anyways, uh, you see here you can create real ROMs, simple setup, build for the web, no knowledge is required. Don't worry, we're going to go hands on it in just a second. So you see here their TLDW is um, visual game builder with no programming knowledge required, design your own graphics, anything that can output PNG format. Example project included to get you started, make top down 2D RPG, JRPG style adventure games, uh, build real Game Boy ROMs which can be played on an emulator or device using USB carts. Uh, Build an HTML5 playable game that also works on mobile and can be deployed to any web server or uploaded to itch.io. Build for macOS, Windows, and Linux. Uh, support for both macOS light and dark mode and includes full tools that were used to build Untitled GB game free to play on itch.io. As you can see, it is available on GitHub. The source code is right here. This is an Electron app. It means it's JavaScript hosted inside of... Um, Electron container. On top of that, I believe there is a C underlying library that they're dependent on. If we jump back here, we'll see uh, GB Studio is a free, easy to use retro adventure game created for Game Boy, available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. For more information, see the website we were just on. GB Studio consists of an Electron game builder app and a C based game engine using GBDK. Music is provided by GBT Player. And then instructions on getting it it's got a simple download, it's about 88 megs in size. And once you install it, you get this. And you can see it is a very simple workflow here. Um, you've got kind of the flow of your game. So we start logo, goes to title screen based off of trigger or actions happening. And then you get into the bulk of your game. You see your game is split up into different levels, such as the house, the cave, and the underground. And you'll see here we have uh, triggers that move between those. So if I click on one, you will see uh, name is trigger one, switch scenes to outside uh, or from outside. Uh, and then here we go trigger back and this will switch scene from house, so we go here, here's the other trigger, this will switch to the outside. And that's kind of how the programming works. It's built on a bunch of events. So we come down here, we'll look at a character in the scene. So you click anywhere in the scene and you'll get a scene graph, a list of all the entities in the scene. So you see here, we've got, I believe this guy selected right now. He will display, check out the sweet duck when you walk up to him and he sets the uh, variable to true of scene duck. You can then test on that variable in your code later on. The actual scripting itself is done using events. And here you can see the events that are available to you. So actor emote, set direction, set position, uh, await input, camera look, camera shake, decrease variable by one, display text, fade in, fade out, hide actor, hide overlays, hide sprites. If factor is at position, if joystick uh, variable has value, is false, is true, increment variable, loop forever, multiple choice, overlay move to, play music, push actor, reset all variables, reset variable to false, set player sprite sheet, um, set variable to true, show actor, show overlay, show sprite, stop music, stop script, switch scene, and wait. So you got a very simple set of controls there, but pretty much everything you need to do an old school JRPG style game, except for a battle system. Now, I don't know what they're going to be adding with this guy as time goes on, but that is essentially how the process works. Then when you're good with your game and you want it to go ahead and run, you can just press the play button up here and it will run it like so. And it will run in the built-in emulator that is included. So here is, again, we jump to our logo and this is on a timer. So then we switch to title screen and now it wants press start. I don't remember what all the keys are. They're somewhere around the JKL. So J just got me through here. And then you see we are in our world. So I could come up and I can bump into this guy rudely. That doesn't do anything. All right, let's go here and hit J. And you'll see you get the prompt or the text that is attached to that particular person. Pretty straightforward. It does look exactly like a, um, a Game Boy game of old. 
you see you've got an NPC moving around that's looking for their cat. And then I'll show you one of the level transition scenes. So we come here, I'm gonna hit that trigger and it will transition us over into the house level or up here. And that is kind of it. It's a very simple and straightforward tool, but you could string together and create Game Boy games very, very easily. And as I mentioned earlier on, you have the export options right here. So you can export out, you can export out to that ROM format, which you can run in an emulator or using the USB cart, or you can export it out to web, which will create HTML files for you that you can then host on your own site, or as they said, upload to itch.io. Uh, but other than that, you've got simple tools over here so we can zoom in and out our world. So here, uh, the middle mouse button navigates around. Now, unfortunately, control and uh, middle wheel and middle wheel in general doesn't seem to do the zoom. The only way to zoom is up here. So that's the only piece of feedback I would give so far. I'd like to have zooming controlled in a way other than a menu bar. Here you switch between your various different options. So you got your game world. Here is where all of the, the sprites were defined. So you see here, the main player has a number of different um, directions. So down, uh, up, left, and I believe they'll do a, an invert for right, or I guess that would be left. So there's how you define your sprites. Create a new sprite, simply click up here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, here's the instructions on adding new sprites. Uh, oh, you just drop them in the asset sprites folder of your project. Uh, let's head on back over to the editor. I guess my second feedback would be to make that into some kind of a, a tool. Uh, so we got backgrounds, similar thing. And then we've got UI elements, music, which are a mod file format or mod tracker format. Uh, script review, these are basically a, a one page view of all the, the scripts that you've attached to your characters. And then your build and run output results from when you ran it last time. And that is essentially your game. Now, once again, you see how all these pieces come together. So we come here, our world. So we go up here to house. You will see house is the background is house, which we defined over here in the background section. And then we go back here to the game world again. We'll pick our character here. So I think our character, our character start screen is right there. So you see there is the character start screen. The actor is player. Uh, and then where is player defined? All right, I need to figure that out. Anyways, that's kind of the gist of it. You can control and flip through things here as well. Um, and then your inputs are pretty easy and straightforward and clean. And that's kind of, uh, that's it. Uh, that's Game Boy Studio and I got, or GB Studio technically. Uh, it's one of those things you can learn in about 10 minutes. Uh, you're not gonna create the world's most uh, amazing game in it, but if you wanted to extend it, you also once again do have all of the source code available. The nice thing is it is under the MIT license, which means you can do just about whatever you want with it. It's a very cool project. Now I admit this is niche as hell. Uh, so it's only of interest to people that are interested in A, the Game Boy or the Game Boy style and B, JRPG style top-down games. But if that is your jam, this is definitely a tool you should be checking out, especially once again, because it is uh, MIT open source licensed and completely free to use. And it's available on basically every platform out there. So. Great job, Chris Maltby. Uh, very cool project. Uh, again, very niche, but very cool. Hopefully at least like two of you found that interesting. Uh, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.